Welcome back on board of the First Relief product and support channel. You're looking for improvements for your yacht or ship? Well, you're absolutely right here at our TV channel. We had the film crew out on the water and we were filming some of the fuel docks in town. And what happens very commonly is when guys are putting gas into their boat or diesel into the boat is after they get done, it kind of splashes back at you and welcome back we again have the privilege of having Richard Kozier Hi John thanks for having me on back. the program you're so welcome from Perco and Richard what do you call this event John that's called well back and it basically occurs when pressure builds up in a fuel tank as you're fueling and it can't vent fast enough in 2010 the EPA mandated along with uh, well back several other requirements to control fuel emissions uh, and Wellback was one of the requirements to be done. So they require a check valve to be put in at the point of location of the fuel entry. Okay. So we have a demonstration here with a 25 gallon gas tank that I'd like to show you what Wellback is and then how we can solve that. All right, now we're not using gasoline here, guys. We have an actual fill that you would see at a gas pump and this is just attached to a garden hose, okay? Correct. This is water. But you want me to put some water into this Correct. tank acting like it's gasoline. Correct. Okay, so so as, let me you, do that. as you start to fill, I'm going to play as the, I'm the uh, fill limit valve and I'm going to start to uh, shut off the pressure of the tank. You'll see it builds. Oh my gosh. Spits out. That's, that's, that's well back. That's what's called well back. Okay. This is really, really common in boating. Correct. Now Perco has an inexpensive uh, uh, fix for this that's available for OEMs. It's basically a little check valve, patent pending, that allows the fuel to go down through and then it has a flapper valve that closes to prevent any well back from coming back up the tank. So, so okay, so fuel comes through your fuel fill hose, it pushes down this flapper valve, do you see that? Pushes down the flapper valve and then if it comes back, it stops it. Correct. Now this is a, an example of a hose that we're going to change out that has the valve in place. Okay. It's a very inexpensive retrofit for a customer that has uh, boats prior to 2010 and for the OEMs it's an inexpensive uh, uh, alternative to some of the other internal uh, vent valves that uh, are available on okay. the market. So you want Let's me to put some again. more water or slash gas back into the fuel fill. Correct. Now I'm going to close off the pressure, the ICV valve comes up and you do not see the well back come back up the tank. Zero coming back at you. This is amazing. And, and how expensive of a device is this? Basically, John, retail-wise, it's less than $50 uh, to the consumer to retrofit their boat, and OEMs can get it from us directly. Where is it available? Uh, www.perco.com uh, or at any marine retailer.